<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Where are your socks? Uh, it's a mellow winter. No socks. I can't get away with anything. <laughs> Everything I do, you catch me. You're like an eagle. Eagle well, eye. That's it. I'm a producer. You know, <laughs> eagle eye. <laughs> no, I figured, you know what, with the nice weather out today, uh -huh. give the last, you know, hurrah of no socks. Of no socks. Well, so, I'm, I'm with you on I that I couldn't one. get away with it. That makes you successful. Oh, thank ah, you. Nice lead in. <laughs> you know, uh, Dr. Paul and I sit, talk about a lot of different ways that your physical well-being and your mental well-being are, are connected. Mm -hmm. And we got on the topic of what makes someone successful. And we were using high school athletes yep. as an example. And, you know, once again, you made that wonderful connection between physical attributes and mental attributes. Yep. So why don't we start there? Okay, good. Uh, what, did, what does it take for a kid to try out for a team to make it all the way to Division One. Wow. I mean, you know, just that prospect of thinking about that, right? Because yeah. every young boy and girl at some point probably has an aspiration of wanting to be at that highest level of performance. Right. You know, whether it's not a professional athlete, let's just assume for the time being it's a Division One athlete. And that's what it's right. about, right, as a college, as a high school athlete. So when you think about these young, ambitious, energetic boys and girls that are trying out for all of these teams and preparing for the season upcoming, mm -hmm. in this case basketball or the winter sports of hockey and things like that, they have to be in the clear frame of mind that it's right. a long journey. It's yeah, a long road right. and you've got to take it step by step. Mm -hmm. And so what does that mean? What does that mean taking it step by step? Well, you have to understand that it's a combination of your fully integrated person of who you are as a human. So that right. means it entails your physical attributes, your physical being. And, mm -hmm. and of course, as we've talked about many times on this show, Jesse, that's about nourishing your body with the right nutrients. Right. It's sure. about getting adequate sleep. Mm -hmm. It's about performing the right type of exercise. Mm -hmm. And you know, we all talk about the right amount of exercise. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to exercise as much as possible. More importantly than the a quantity of exercise that a young boy or girl does in mm -hmm. their journey to become a Division One athlete, mm -hmm. it has to be the type of exercise that they're doing. That's well, critical. Know, yeah, you know what? I mean, people would immediately go there. They would say, oh, it's all about exercise and it's all about being in the gym. Yeah. And it quite honestly is a combination, as you're stating, of what you're eating, yes. which affects your physical well-being, plus your mental well-being and, uh, and an exercise program. That's right. Exercise is one, is one facet. It's only this. one It's multidimensional and it's integrative. And so right. the exercise clearly is important, but I would place even above that as your journey to a, being a top-level athlete, making sure that you're nourishing your body with the right foods right. And, and drinks mm -hmm. and sleeping yeah, the right, right amount. Right. Um, handling you know, the, the, the stresses that you're encountering. And mm -hmm. so developing a strategy to combat increased you know, stress that you have. Because again, you know, if you're going to be an athlete, that means if it, you're going to have all these other demands on you. You've got right. your academic work, you've got mm -hmm. your social work, and then you've got all the demands of being a physical athlete. Right. So you have to be able to balance all that. So paying attention to the, the, the mind is really, really important. And so they have to undergo some training with mm -hmm. not just their physical being, but also their mental being. Right. So they need to make sure that their mind is being trained properly. And so I always um, associate the top performing athletes, the ones that make it to the Division I level and above, mm -hmm. those are the ones that have the greatest poise. Mm -hmm. They have the greatest composure. Mm -hmm. And that is because they have developed the ability to handle those pressures. Mm -hmm. And they're able to compartmentalize all of these things that they're doing across their day. But they're also taking time to alleviate that stress. They're either you know, mm -hmm. undergoing some healthy form of mental relaxation. Well, you, really know, what's, you know what's interesting about that, Paul, is that everyone would assume, all right, and I, I don't relate so much to sports, but yeah. I do relate to performance, the arts. Absolutely. And the whole sense there is you're about ready. I'll use my analogy. Yeah, I love it. You're about ready to go into a performance yeah. with a particularly complicated passage you have to get through, either on an instrument or dance or something like that. People think you tense up. You get in there and fight for it. Yeah. When in reality, it's the opposite. Calm down. Totally. I love that. You yeah, have to become right? more zen. You have to become right. more composed, confident, calm. Mm -hmm. You have to be more aware of mm -hmm. your surroundings. And so the same thing happens. Jesse, I love that. And I make this analogy all the time that there's no difference between you as a top performing musician, mm -hmm. an artist, a th a, an actor, mm -hmm. and an athlete in that when they are encountering this pressure, 
to perform under the limelight right, and under sure. those conditions that are going to allow them to advance to the next level, mm -hmm. they have to have the ability to have that poise, that ability right. to have that awareness of where they are and calm themselves down. It doesn't take that you know, big adrenaline rush mm -hmm. to perform well. That's right. Just the opposite. You want to you wanna compartmentalize that and control that adrenaline mm -hmm. rush so that your body flu has the fluidity mm -hmm. and the muscles have the reactivity and the suppleness to be able to react, whether it's playing an instrument right. or performing a particular task in a sport with fluidness. Yeah. And, and, you know, I have people that I always think about who have these wonderful attributes who can do this. Um, I have a son. Mm -hmm. uh, I have three yeah, sons. Noah. Right. Sure. You know, as an athlete, um, he's a classic example. But there's, you know, plenty of others that we look at and we think, boy, that doesn't even look like they're trying. That's right. Right. A I musician, know. you know, playing it on the drums or on the uh, <laughs> violin or an athlete performing. And it's because of that poise. Oh, I've got so, it. Poise, you know, we, I think we have a new legume. Oh, I love it. Brewing here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a word you hear every day, poise. But boy, it's so central to what we're talking about. Uh, this is a great topic. I, yeah. I just want to uh, review before we run out of time here. Yep. Uh, we're talking about what it takes to succeed, that it's a real combination of the physical attributes, exercise being the one you know, nutrition, chasing that one to give you the ability for your muscles to to grow in the right way. Critically important. But the other part of it is, is the mental side of it. Yeah. How do you train your mind with the same kind of discipline yeah. that you're using in the physical realm, mm -hmm. in the mental realm? And it is, honestly, if you think about the great athletes that you know, whether or not they're dancers or whether or not they're playing basketball or they're musicians, it's a combination of those qualities. I, I love this segment because yeah. I think it really highlights the importance that most of us think, you know, that to be a top performing athlete, it's all about the physicality and the right. physicalness. And in, in all seriousness and in reality, it's, it is important, but it's also actually just as important, and some would mm -hmm. even believe more important, to train the mind yes. to be in a place where you can allow yourself to perform at that level. So really oh, critical to not Good one. lose that perspective. Well, thanks very much, Paul. Really appreciate it. Maybe you'll have uh, so <laughs> socks on the next um, time. By <laughs> next week, I might have boots yeah, and a tundra coat. <laughs> Either that or no pants. That or that. What's next? <laughs> I won't go there. All right, Paul, thanks a lot. All Good right. to see you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, loketvonline.com. <laughs>